So I had to come down to Yarmouth, Nova Scotia today to go to the hospital to visit a family member, which isn't always a very pleasant thing to do. So you know what life is like when the tough stuff happens. You have to go to the beach for some beach therapy. So I thought I would take you along with me, show you this stunning beach. I've never been here before. This is Cape Fougere down outside of Yarmouth at the southern part of Nova Scotia. In the middle of this pandemic, with all the travel restrictions, this is as far south as we're allowed to go this winter. But it's pretty beautiful down here for a February day. It's about four degrees. Not much wind to speak of. Really cool lighthouse up there. And a beautiful day to be down here. So we'll go along and see what I can find. So it's so calm here today, but you can see that the waves and the wind can get strong enough to toss a lobster trap right up onto the shore, almost into the parking lot. So check this out. It's not every day you go for a beach walk and you get to see the bones of a whale. These were discovered here. I'm not even sure when. I'm going to have to look it up. But they've put them on display here at Fougere, or Cape Fougere in Yarmouth. This is pretty cool. I'm going to try and find out what kind of whale it came from and when it was found. It was, it's obviously placed here for a tourist attraction. That is really cool. This is really beautiful. It's so peaceful right here. You have this standing body of water here in the middle of the rocks and there's some gentle drops of rain falling. And off in the distance you can hear the roar of the waves crashing up on the rocks. So the shoreline along here is extremely rocky. The rocks are just stunning. See the waves just rushing through the middle of those rocks over there? Kind of out on a bit of a point, so you've got waves coming from different directions here. It's extremely rugged and beautiful. I don't know if I'm going to find any beach treasures or not. There's tons of beautiful rocks. So many. I don't know if I'll find any sea glass, but I am going to have a look. Listen to the roar of those waves. Well, there you go. I didn't know if I'd find any sea glass today, but I did just spy this beautiful green piece shining out from the rocks. There's another green piece. I almost got hit with the wave on that one. And there's a white piece. There, I'm finding a few pieces. Oh, and another white piece. Wow, and the sea glass here is really different from my beach and PEI. It's finished differently. So here's a lobster trap someone set out for display here, and beside it is a bench made out of the same material. That's super cool. I don't think that one's ever been in the water, but the one to the left of it certainly has. It's probably caught a few lobster in its day. So this is really cool, one of those signs that tells you which places are in which direction from where you're standing right now. Prince Edward Island is 625 kilometers away. Corduroy Valley, Newfoundland, 914 kilometers away. Brazil, 600 or 6,105 kilometers. You can see how far to the UK, to Italy, Mexico, Hawaii, 
8,450 kilometers away, Germany, Spain, Greece. Very cool. Sri Lanka is 13,169 kilometers away. Lebanon, South Africa, France, Australia, Ontario, China. Very cool. And the lighthouse will show you the way. There's a beautiful sight. The fishing boats coming in. I hope they had a successful day out on the water. Today would be a beautiful day to be out there. Not very windy. Still cold. It is February. But it's pretty good weather here for February. We usually have a lot of wind. A lot of very low temperatures in February. It's above zero right now. Check out this beauty of a piece. It's just perfectly finished. And a beautiful shade of green. Here's a few more lobster traps washed ashore. I'm beginning to think that maybe they're put here as a tourist attraction. But they're definitely used lobster traps. There's another fishing boat on its way in at the end of the day. Hopefully they've had a successful catch. So I did get a handful of white and green sea glass. A few little finds. A few of them, like that one, is a little bit rough. And then I found some that are just way too rough. Those need some more time. So that handful of green is getting checked back. Maybe to be found by another sea glass hunter after they've had some more time to get smooth. 